Uh, hello there and welcome to my new video. In this video I want to show you how you can uh, validate your input for uh, email address. So this is our uh, layout file, we just have one edit text for email and one button which says uh, validate. So uh, head over to uh, main activity and uh, there we are going to add uh, edit text and button objects and we are going to initialize and find the ID for those two. Alright, so uh, in on create method uh, find the ID of those two elements. And uh, after that, uh, we're going to uh, set on click listener for our button. Okay, now it's, uh, set on click listener, new on click listener. And uh, we're going to create a new method just below on create method. Uh, this will be boolean method. And uh, let's type private boolean. Uh, the name for our method should be something like uh, validate, uh, uh, validate uh, email address. And inside this, uh, first we're going to add the one string, and inside that string we're going to store uh, the text from uh, our edit text. So we need to pass the edit text as a parameter here. Okay, so now we're going to use that uh, uh, edit text to get a text and convert it to string. Okay, and now we're in if block we're going to uh, use uh, this string. Uh, sorry, not uh, this uh, edit text, but string, and we're going to use its method uh, is empty. And in front of that, we're going to add an uh, exclamation mark, like that. So it basically means that if our email input string is not empty, and uh, we're going to use a patterns class and uh, its predefined uh, pattern for email address. And if that patterns uh, pattern uh, matches our email input string then we're going to display a success message and in else block we're going to display a invalid email address uh, message so uh, it's not that hard as you can see with uh, basically with one uh, line of code we checked our uh, pattern for email address and we can use that predefined pattern instead of writing uh, all of the code by ourselves so in this else block just uh, type uh, invalid email address and return false and in the first if block we're going to return true of course all right so uh, call this method inside on click listener here and uh, pass uh, the edit text okay so now we can run our application and check how it works okay let's run our app now and uh, in this uh, edit text we can type some random characters as you can see and when you click validate, it will say invalid email address. You can even type some numbers on or anything else. So if you want uh, your email to be uh, validated properly, you need to type uh, the name of your email address, this at sign, host and, and the domain. And when you click validate, it will uh, display a success message. So if we uh, validate an empty edit text, it will say invalid email address as well. So basically that's it. Um, it is very important to uh, validate all your uh, all your fields, uh, especially email address. Uh, for example, if you are uh, using your um, backend server to store your uh, users uh, uh, in a database, then first you need to validate your uh, inputs properly, and um, ad or uh, otherwise you might get uh, some uh, security issues, and someone might uh, breach your data. So that was it for this video, please like it if you find it helpful of course, and see you in the next one.